search my packs, you will find nothing. This one is innocent. Tell her, Gomani. Not to worry, citizen. This flea-bitten scoundrel will not trouble you. Jode's chariot will see to that. Thank the moons. As I was just explaining, that thief nearly ran us over. You chased after him. Please, tell this fine keeper of the peace what you saw. I'm still sore from the last night I spent in the stocks. This honorable and, if I may say so, very sleek guard has mistaken me for a common sugar thief. Please, help me clear up this misunderstanding. Hush, Kobani, if you don't have anything constructive to say, don't say anything. Surely this scoundrel is lying. I chased him here on my own two legs. He was only out of sight for a flick of the tail. A very good story. I don't know how a scamp like you has such good friends, Cinder Tail. Which way did this thief go? He made off with enough moon sugar to knock over a mammoth. Of course not. And Jode's chariot does not have the authority to launch an investigation. Shanra will not be happy. Thank you, citizen, for your vigilance. We keep the peace here in Redfur, making it safe for traders on their way to and from Elden Root. We spend most of our time catching thieves. Return what they stole and put them in the stocks to think about what they've done. We don't hold them for long, but they usually get the message, or become better thieves. Honestly, thieves are good for business. They keep the market fluid and stop too much wealth from accumulating in one place. Until recently, Shanra would rather deal with thieves than with Thalmor bureaucrats. A reputation for being easy on thieves tends to attract thieves. The newer thieves don't give back to the people. They leave town and take their stolen goods with them. That's no good for anyone. Shanra may have to step in. He leads the Redfur trading coster. Every merchant who passes through Redfur pays him a small stipend to conduct business here. They expect a certain amount of protection from thieves in return. Jode's chariot maintains order in his name. Thank you for playing along. You see, Gobani? This is what true friendship is. Not standing like a drooling statue as your only friend is hauled away like so many sacks of grain. Steel. I guess that's one way of looking at it. Let's say I circumvented the market. I found the price the merchant was charging unacceptable, so I set my own. What does the merchant have to complain about? His belly is full. If they are not fed, Gobani and her sisters become most unruly. <laughs> Were it not for the hollow moon, they would have eaten me whole when I arrived in Redfur. Some call them thieves, but that's such an impolite term. The hollow moon's work is charitable by nature. They procure things for people who can't afford them, yes? Here, take this token to the ruined temple and see for yourself. Obani and I know when we have outstayed our welcome, yes? A night in the stocks might not be as bad as losing a paw, but all the same. Pardon my saying so, but you were obviously doing well for yourself. What brought you here? I'm surprised he had one left to hand out. Apologies, I should explain. Our agents give these to the infirm, so their need is not questioned when they petition us for aid. Cindertail was very... liberal with his tokens. We thought his cinch tigers would be useful to have around, guard duty and such, but between his tiger's sugar habit and his handing out hollow moon tokens like candy, he practically emptied out our stores. Can you lift coin from a rich man's pocket without getting your hand stuck in it? Then talk to Valir upstairs. He might have something for you. Fadi sent you? She thinks perhaps you can do work for us. Who are you to know so little, yet offer so much? Hmm, maybe you are less interested when you hear what we do? You are familiar with the custom of property ownership, yes? I have a thing, it is mine. You take it, it is still mine, yes? Why? Because I did not give it to you. 
And if you are starving, and use what you took to feed your belly, is it still mine? No. Whatever you stole, food, money to buy food, silks to trade for food, it is inconsequential next to saving you from death. You think we should work for our bread, yes? But many can't work. They're injured, sick, or just too hungry. The Hollow Moon gives them what they need. Perhaps we're wrong to steal, but if the world were a more virtuous place, we wouldn't mean to. Many of them appreciate what we do. Sometimes a merchant falls on hard times. His stock is poor, or the price of sugar is too high. Then he needs us too, yes? But what about you? Are you still interested in helping the Hollow Moon? Of course, of course. <laughs> now, I was hoping you could assist me with a rather delicate matter that has presented itself. Shamra, leader of the merchants here, has threatened to call in the Thalmor. This is a problem. Jod's chariot understands that we provide a valuable service. The Thalmor is unlikely to agree. We need to change Shandra's mind. This place was not always a trading post. It was built upon a tomb whose gauntlet of traps have kept it sealed for generations. If the stories are true, it holds untold riches. We can use them to persuade Shandra to leave us be. There lies the trouble, yes? The only known entrance to the tomb is within Jode's Hall. The place is teeming with guards. We will need their cooperation to gain entry to the tomb. Go to Jode's Hall and speak to Tulaira. If I am right, she is no happier about Shandra's decision than we are. Once you are inside, you must retrieve what treasure you can and return to me here. Thank you, my friend. While many have attempted the tomb's gauntlet of traps, none have returned to tell the tale. There are many dangers ahead of you. Be careful. If Shamra calls in the Talmor, that's the end of Jod's chariot. They won't be necessary any longer. Besides, Jod's chariot has always respected what we do, even if they do arrest us from time to time. She's waiting. Hello. I'm sorry, we can't chat for long. I'm waiting for someone. Really? Then you must be the newcomer everyone's talking about. Impressive work. Tell me, were you telling the truth about Cindertail, or were you just covering for one of your fellows? I thought as much, though I am surprised you would admit it. An honest thief. Hmm. Anyway, tell me. Why have you come? Is he mad? Why would he ask for such a thing? He knows the danger. Yes, I see. The treasure of Anabi could certainly be persuasive. It may be our only chance of keeping the Thalmor out of our affairs. I'll give you the key, but please be careful. I don't want your death on my hands.
Polara and Valier working together. Ponabe, did you ever think we would Hell. see this day? No, shut now. Smile. Only good can come of such an auspicious alliance. You are wise to say so, Shanra. Such flattery. Tell me, why have you called me here? We have a gift for you, Shanra. To show our appreciation and solidify our friendship. And I believe it has just arrived. My friend, if you would do the honors. Shanra is honored. Tell me, what have you brought? Spices? Gemstones, perhaps? <gasps> Wherever did you get this marvelous gem? Legend has it that Joan was struck by a bolt of light. For but a second, she turned from her twin, and overtaken by sadness, shed a single tear. Jode brushed it from her cheek, and it fell to the desert below. Joan's tear, such a beautiful gem. Of course not, a fanciful tale. This jewel was cut from a Varla stone by Azesas, greatest jeweler of the first era. But it's a good story, isn't it? And will fetch a fine prize. You do your friends credit. Such a prize deserves a fine reward. I thought you might have something in mind, seeing as you went through all the trouble of procuring this precious jewel. Name your price. Ah, clever and loyal. A rare combination. Very well. I prefer not to have the Thalmo looking over my shoulder anyhow. Instead, we will invest in Jode's chariot. Our coffers still need guarding, yes? As the hollow moon waxes, it is only fair that we balance the scales. We will invest significant capital in bolstering our esteemed protectors. Otherwise, we might find ourselves waiting in one of Valir's famous lines, no? My good friend, you have done so much for us and asked so little in return. If all my agents were so skilled and selfless, we might bring our services to the world. With Shanra appeased, we will continue to do what we do best. While I am sure Jod's chariot will try to stop us, they will never blot us out entirely, no? Thank you, my friend. We would not be here without your help. <laughs>